Hi, I'm Jonathan Mark Mendes, Painted Love, and I've teamed up with Dunelm to show you some easy upcycling home projects. Let's get stuck in. So today's project is a quick and simple makeover. I'm going to be working with a lamp and lamp shade that I bought from Dunelm. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous lamp base and it's got this real lovely coastal vibe to it but in a modern contemporary way. So I've picked up a white linen shade. So I'm going to change this and create an ombre shade in just two simple steps. We've got two colours of paint, natural charcoal and anthracite grey. We need some water in a jug to mix with the paint and you need a water spray or an atomizer. First up, we're going to use the atomizer. You could submerge the shade into a bucket of water. I like to do it this way for control. We need to saturate the whole of the shade and I want my ombre from the bottom up. So I'm gonna turn the lampshade upside down whilst I work this. First of all, we're gonna go with the anthracite gray and all I'm gonna do is pop the lid. I'm gonna take a small amount of paint into a bowl we're gonna add a little drizzle of water to the paint. We just need to loosen this about probably 30% water to paint. Incorporate water and paint together, stirring around. It just needs to be that little bit more loose in its consistency. And we're just gonna go round the top. Remember, use an oil cloth on your tabletops to protect from the water. So we're gonna do a band of grey around the top like so and you can already see the paint is starting to spread as it goes into the fabric and we're going to use a spray or an atomizer again just to let that paint travel so a nice even spritz it's kind of leaching down to the white side of the shade. So now I'm gonna pop the lid on the natural charcoal furniture paint. Take a tablespoon and just a small amount. I'm gonna just drizzle a couple of drops into the same color. It's just made it a little bit darker. I'm gonna spritz with a bit more water. Make sure it's well incorporated. And we're gonna tickle the top of the shade again. So a thinner band until you get a blob like that. But you can spritz that away. See my mistake? Gone in seconds. Happy accidents always look good on these projects. I'm gonna make sure I've got everything on the underneath. And then we're gonna spritz again. And there we have it. As you can see, the paint is still traveling. Pop it on the side, forget about it. Go away and make yourself a nice cup of tea and then we'll come back and we'll embellish it that little bit more. So here we have it, the finished ombre shade and I think it's come up really well. Now don't worry about sealing any of this paint, you don't need to. Basically the paint is acted like a dye to the linen. I've decided to bring in another little extra and I've gone with these small pom-poms that we're going to trim the lower half of this shade. So I'm just going to measure out the amount of pom-poms. I'm pulling this tight around the base of the shade and I'm going to make a loose cut somewhere around there. Bring in some craft glue. I'm going to put a small bead around the edge. I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm going to stop there because I've got a seam there, a natural seam, so it's a good place to start with the pom-poms. I'm going to add the first pom-pom as we go along. Now this glue will dry clear, so don't worry if you can see some of the white of the glue. And I'm just going to use a peg just to hold the first little bit into place. Now I've also got a brush that might have a small artistry brush just to spread that around a little bit. So next, next step, stretching the pom-poms along and lining up with the base of the shade. We're going to snip the very final part right on the edge of 
of that pom pom, peg into place and leave to dry. And it should dry nice and clear along the edges. That's it, done. So if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and you want to learn more like this one, don't forget to like, comment, or even better, subscribe. I'll catch you next time.